Hey guys, Mike here, and welcome back to another episode of Spin Tires. We are starting a new map, and if you caught up or caught anything on it, then, um, well, we're at the volcan volcano. Um, there's only one objective from what I can make out, and we already start with an ass ton of awesome vehicles. Um, we've got that little UAV, we've got two of these awesome trucks, and then we got even like a bigger, you know, a, a big ass truck. I don't think I've ever even used one of these. This type E73. Yeah, I've never. Still, oh, okay. All right, I was just curious what that, like, what this does. Um, let's take the UAV and go explore. I think that's what we're gonna do. There actually is also an achievement um, for completing a map without changing any of the um, add-ons that you have. Um, granted, I did just change the one on this, but um. That might be something I could do, like, on a, like, a live stream or something. Alright. Let's take our UAV. Um, and see if we can go explore a little bit. Possibly uncloak this map. Alright. This ought to be... This ought to be fun. Starting a new... A new, um... Oh my god. It's already... It's already being poor. I don't even... I haven't played this game in a minute, so I... I feel like I'm gonna forget a lot of things... Oh god, just, oh my, look at all this, like right at the, like, oh jeez, oh man, just gotta make sure we stay in an area where we can winch ourselves out, this doesn't look too bad over here, then again I could be wrong, oh jeez, with the hops, oh, okay, I was worried there for a second, I thought we were gonna go, go for a tumble down that little hill. Alright, well, it's actually nice to be back playing this game. It's been, like, probably about a week since I've played and or recorded anything for this game. But it it's actually feels nice to be back. I haven't played it in... feels like forever. But, uh, obviously, I mean, obviously it hasn't been forever. But it's nice to be back playing. It's fun. I really like this game, guys. I just, you know... I've, I've gotten distracted. Well, not distracted, really, but... More or less, uh swamped with all of the other series is, or series that I am uh, currently um, recording but I figured I'd set a day aside just for spin tires because these episodes are a bit longer and uh, they don't take nearly as much much editing to do though that's, so that's one good part about it it's pretty much uh, it doesn't take much <laughs> alright where the hell am I going here Hopefully we're not stuck. And apparently, this cloaking marker is over here somewhere. I can't really see it. Still don't see it. But my map assured me that it was over this way. Um, I don't see it. Oh, the headlights are off. Oh, well, according to this, I've already drove past it. Alright. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer here. I just drove into the woods for no freaking reason because the map wasn't accurate. That's awesome. Alright. Maybe we can get... Oh, there we go. Maybe we can kind of punch through these woods right here. Let's see if we can... Um... Oh. Now it's there. Right, uh, punching through these woods might not have been the best idea, but I damn well try. Wow. Wow. Oh, Jesus. That's a little bit of a hill there. <laughs> I came out of nowhere. Well, I mean, not really, but I didn't see it there, so it's kind of scared. It, it frightened me. Jesus. All right. Let's see where we can go next. Let's go to this cloaking now. We need to go way you came from. Let's take this road and see what happens. See where it takes us. Maybe if I can get past these rocks real quick. Oh, this isn't good already. Come on, little UAV, you got this. 
Oh, uh, damn it. <laughs> Please tell me there's a tree I can hook to that's close by. Nope. Doesn't look the way, anyways. Or doesn't look that way. I need to, like, point downhill. Are we moving at all? Kind of. Not really, but kind of. <laughs> Trying to point downhill. Might help. Maybe if I kind of wiggle the wheels. Just a little bit. Oh. Moving. We're moving. And we're not moving anymore. <laughs> Let's see if we can back up a little bit. Again, trying to go downhill. Come on. That stupid rock right there is stopping. Come on. Come on. Break loose. Break loose. Oh my god. It's that stupid rock. Some of these rocks move, some of them don't, apparently. I don't know what this is all about. I seriously don't understand the whole rocks in this game, for some reason. It, they're just like, some of them are just absurd and, like, will not budge, and some some just, like, kind of just flow right out. Like, the biggest ones don't even stay put. It's the tiny ones that actually give you the trouble. <laughs> At least it seems like that to me, anyways. It's, like, always the small ones that end up hanging me up, screwing with me. Whereas the big ones, you can just get kind of push out of the way. <laughs> Which doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Oh, there we go. Um, come on, Jeep. You have differential lock, all-wheel drive. You should not be stuck like this. You really shouldn't. My car could get through this, no problem. <laughs> And it doesn't have differential lock. <laughs> oh my god. You piece of shit. <laughs> That's all I have to say about this Jeep. But it is the smallest thing we have, so it's the easiest thing to get into those tight spots where these cloaking things are. And I just really don't feel like going back to the garage and getting another truck to come pull this stupid thing out. Are we close to a tree now? possibly at all whatsoever that would be nice nope and nope and nope all right well that's good news i guess <laughs> look look there's like i'm this is oh my god am i even moving Like, what's the point? What's the point of having this Jeep if it gets stuck in any kind of mud that you've run into? There's, like, no point. Like, eh, might as well just throw this off the side of a cliff because it's useless. Oh, come on. Alright, screw it. We're going, we're going back. We're going to get the, D, the trusty D537. We're also going to uninstall this. Maybe. Um. Hmm. What do I want? Hmm. Yeah. Install the carriage. All right. Let's start this bad boy up. And let's uh, set our marker to get to the stupid A469. Oh, damn it. I didn't want to do that. There we go. Oh, it stopped the engine. Awesome. There we go. I've got an idea. Just because I'm curious to see if this will work. See if I can pull it off. Let's 
get this thing. We get, we, I want to try to load uh, that stupid little UAV in the back of this truck, just because I want to try it. <laughs> I think it'd be cool to load it back, load it into the back of this truck. I actually need differential lock here. There we go. Turn diff lock off. Make this drive a little bit easier turning wise because this thing turns like a bus or slash house. It's not even that, it's like it doesn't even seem, no, it's definitely not even that far. It's just that Jeep just sucks so badly. <laughs> Should be down, yeah. I was gonna say it should be down at the bottom of this hill. Now we gotta find like a spot where we can load this Jeep up. I'm thinking this hill looks pretty suitable to do things as like this that I want. But first we gotta pull the Jeep out. So we'll pull uphill god don't roll it <laughs> there we go alright that should be suitable enough to keep it where it's at now we need to back up Kind of face the other way. To face downhill here. Again, I love this truck because it doesn't. Nothing phases it. It's just like, yeah, rocks, big hill, whatever. Don't really care. <laughs> Alright. Now, the plan here is. is to hook up. onto onto the Jeep and kind of winch it in just a little bit um, this probably isn't going to work especially especially like uh, like we're set up now so I'm actually like gonna pull forward a little bit I don't really know where we could do this that would work we need like a we need like a general like a big hill that I can like kind of back into. Maybe this will work up here. Just the camera would cooperate a little bit nicer. This might work like this hill behind us right here. Just gotta get the jeep up into those woods. Thank you. I'm gonna do it like that. Put the parking brake on. Switch trucks. Of course, I can't like switch. There we go. All right. Just because I'm curious to see if I can actually do this. We're gonna try it because I'm. I want to. I think it'll be cool. <laughs> We're gonna go around and try to swing up behind, uh, climb this hill a little bit, and load this jeep into the back of that truck because this truck, this jeep just sucks so badly that it would be better off just in the back of the truck. As long as we don't roll, we should be okay. Oh god. And how is that even possible to do that? I've never I would never that would never happen in <laughs> in a real situation. Okay. 
This is gonna get this is gonna get tricky, but we're gonna like I said, we're gonna keep trying it. Okay, parking brake doesn't do anything apparently. Alright, uh winch to the front. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, this is funny, though. I need more little more love going on here. All right, now we need to. I'm gonna move this truck in line with the Jeep. That may or may not work. We're going to try it, though. We need to somehow get this thing to pull up <laughs> on top of it. But it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. So, we're going to scratch this idea completely because I can't get it to work. At least not here, anyways. And we are going to take this Jeep and uh, hopefully go uncloak some more of this map. Maybe. Oh my god, come on. What cameras? They seriously need to work on the camera system here. Because this is, th these cameras are just ridiculous. Alright. Um, we're going to change tracks and move this out of the way. And shut its engine off. And it'll kind of be our... Uh, tow truck, I guess. Alright. Let's see if we can get through this mud. Jeez, that was a waste of time, but I wanted to try it. Well, maybe we'll try it. Maybe we'll try it later. I don't know. We need we need a truck without like a without like a tailgate on it. Alright, we need to go this way. I think we're just going to drive on this road until we find a right turn. <laughs> Seems like a better idea. That looks like a right turn, kind of. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, it's a right turn. There's tire tracks going through here. All right. <laughs> well, at least there's a road. <laughs> I'm sure we'll still get stuck in it, but at least there's a road. <laughs> kind of. Alright. Come on. Well, we just got done with the hill, so this isn't really any different than than what we were messing around with before. Lots of hills and lots of crappy roads. Like, look at this. There's just like a giant hole that we're going to tip over into. Eep. All right, there we go. Oh, there we go. All right, we got it. <laughs> it's fine. All 
All right, we're going to just kind of avoid that mud pit that I'm looking at. Turn and go the other way. I can see the cloaking. Or I saw the cloaking off, to the, off the side of my screen. So it's over here somewhere. Got it. All right, more things uncloaked. All right, take a look at the map. There are quite a few roads over here, though, surprisingly. I guess let's go to this one next, but we'll actually plan a course here. So let's go out this way, down, over here, to the blackness, and go to the cloaking. All right. <laughs> see if the, let's see if we can unlock some more uh, cloaking in this map. I'd, r I'd rather get it completely uncloaked and then, um, and then go about completing slash unlocking everything else. Cloaking is always the hardest part, and and the most helpful when you get it done. So it's I feel like it's a necessary uh, first thing to do. You do, do need to avoid most of this mud though. There's no way that this jeep is going to get through it. Oh god, this is gonna be bad. Come on, little Jeep. You got this. Little UAV. I'm sure a regular Jeep would probably suck even more. <laughs> Such small wheelbases. I don't like regular Jeeps. I don't like them at all, honestly. I've driven a few of them, and every single one I've driven has not been good. <laughs> Except my Comanche. I had an old uh, 87 Jeep Comanche truck. It was red. It was a five-speed. It was my very, 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 very first car. It was like my brother's truck that he drove. And then he, like, didn't want to drive it anymore, so he just kind of let it sit uh, behind my parents' house. And I ended up fixing it and uh, driving it as my first car. I wish I would have never gotten rid of it, though, because I would totally have just kept it. And Because, uh, I mean, it was a cool little truck. It was only two-wheel drive, so it wasn't really a truck that did any good or could do any good. Oh, really? Come on. I don't even... What are you even hitting? <laughs> There's nothing to hit. Oh, wow. We are uh, really stuck here. Hold on. Thank you. We can reach... Yeah, water damages truck. I'm aware. The only thing we can do is just keep pulling until we get out of the water. Okay, that's not working. So we'll kind of... Just kind of hopefully not damage the truck completely before we get through this. Uh-oh. 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 And the truck's dead. Well, let's repair. <laughs> Start the engine. And hopefully... Get out of this hole. Nope. We need to stop the engine. What? Okay. <laughs> oh, this truck sucks so bad. I don't know why I keep using it. It makes no sense. I don't know why I do. We're gonna switch. And this is going to be our unlocking truck now. Because the other one sucks. <laughs> We're just going to go this way. And we'll just get these two cloakings like that. I hate that little Jeep. That li stupid little UAV does nothing. I don't even know why they have it in the game. It is useless. Maybe we'll save it whenever we get these things uncloaked, but I'm not too worried about it right off the bat, honestly. There's a lot of large puddles. Oh my god, that's deep. 
Oh, holy shit. <laughs> oh, we got an achievement. Diver. I'm assuming that's um, dunking the entire cab of your truck underwater and driving out of it. I'm all right with getting an achievement for that. <laughs> that was ridiculous. That was so fucking deep. Okay, well, we have to remember that that's that deep. <laughs> Otherwise, we might run into some problems later on down the road. Oh, wow. That was impressively deep. <laughs> um... Hopefully there's a road we can kind of follow to this waypoint. But it kind of, from what the map, well, from what the compass is telling me, it looks like it's going to be directly over to our right. Uh, we'll, we'll give it a shot and see if we can see it from over here. There's the water. That's cool. Oh, God. I didn't mean to do that. There are quite a large amount of uh, roads on this map, though, which is nice. <laughs> not going to complain about that. Well, not really roads, just more or less areas that without trees, I guess you could call it. <laughs> areas without trees. Oh, I see it. I see the uncloaking. Let's see if we could fit between these two trees right here. Got it. Okay, we're not fitting through there. All right, let's take a look at the map. Still can't see anything. Great. Let's go see if we can unlock the other section. It's like a little island. But it looks like there's a pathway to the other side. Which we might have to check that out, because I can kind of make out a garage. Yeah, that's definitely another garage over there. Okay, well, we're going to have to take a garage trailer over there to unlock that garage. That's probably going to be the next thing on our list. Let's see if we can get this last cloaking. No idea how close we are, but this kind of looks like a road, so we'll take this way. Just a little bit. Ah, there it is. Awesome. We definitely need to unlock that other garage, though, so we can refuel. So we probably want to run back to uh, our other trucks, hook up a garage trailer, and then... Uh, Wow, 43 damage, holy crap. Alright. Well, I think that's a good place to stop, guys. Let's take a look at the map real quick. We got a C4320 on top of the volcano, it looks like. Um, we got the lumber down in that corner. We do have a garage over there. Alright, well, next episode we are definitely going to unlock that garage. And continue uncloaking. So uh, thank you guys for watching. If you liked this episode, be sure to drop a like on it. It does help me out greatly. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss an episode of Spin Tires. And thank you all again for watching. And I will see all of you next time.